Welcome to the fastest chaos semi-finals between Gunji and Frost9. I think I'm gonna make Gunji red because Frost9's color is so defined. Gunji is um, known to be blue always. What? Ah, but Frost is always teal. Fine. And teal versus red looks looks great. All right, what Frost do we think about the map Sif combination here? Freaking Andy is with me, Deathmatch World Cup champion and an AC top 10 RM player as well, right? Hello, hello. <laughs> well, probably not consistently, but I did it this time at least. So. Yeah, congrats like again, man. What do you think about the matchup? Yeah. Yeah, water should heavy. be very helpful. Heavy demo, it's like small waters, right? So heavy demo should be quite useful against the uh, Italians. Not being as good on water in deathmatch as uh, many people would think. Oh. Just because they miss, they have all the techs except heavy demo, so they are good, but not when you need demos, basically. Mm -hmm. And Byzantines have, I think, everything. Byzantines have everything, I think. Yeah, Even Dreadmill really Crane Dennis, now. They have Droman, yeah. And yeah, Droman is like, and this map better than it can against because there's a lot of choke points where they can fire at land units. Not for sure. Neutral docks. Oh yeah, there is trade docks in the corners. Good spot, Black Sky. Which yeah, is unusual nice. with that much land on the map. Usually and only Gunchy's comes going with for full water maps. Fast files. Interesting choice. Mm, not there's sure no heavy here. demo for Italians. Maybe it can work. A lot of military on the field for Frost. And Frost has 62, 28 military. So I'd say the better start here. And the fleet in the middle already. Yeah, but they both have one island, right? It's like one guy I will control one island and then it's just mm. about water, I guess. Uh, for outside islands, that matter for the wood control. But the middle has berries. I guess it's rather for control. The rest are all at their starting islands. I see it right. No one took the market yet. That's surprising. I would take the market if I was Byzantines. I think on like these water maps, probably both want to sell a bit of food, no? Yeah, exactly. What engagement on the right now in the middle there still is some fleet control for Frost 9. Yeah, even the demos against the fire ships they trade so well, even if they are not heavy demos. Could make too many of them. Mm, looks like Frost is also adding fires now though. That was a nice looking demo shots. And a lot of Byzantine castles with extra HP going um, up in the middle. Three castle chain there by Frost. Two castles. Oh no, that's not the extra HP ones. Well, two for Ganji and three for Frost. Uh, Ganji has the extra HP. Frost has a slightly better map because I think Ganji can't fit the third castle on the right side of his island. And Frost can, so he will have more, one more castle. I do somewhat Gunji agree with the towers, towers, though, anyways. I think towers are probably the better option in castles, anyways. Yeah, t towers should be. Well, they don't have heated shots. Byzantines uh, don't? Okay. But Italians should go massive towers. I know they have heated Yeah, Italians should go massive towers for sure. <clears throat> All those eaters, fire ships as well. Ganji setting up the economy pretty nice already. Like he is on 15 TCs basically. Or like 10. Oh, I next each other. Yeah. Already top yeah. double the, the build count. It is good for him. Frost still has more control in the middle. Now massive threat push from Ganji. Uh, 7 there, but they are firing at bombard cannons currently. It's a little bit of but a trap fight there. It's so scary. If I was Frost, I wouldn't probably wouldn't want to stay there like I know you have no option but if Ganji comes with 20 demos like Frost is completely dead there is a, like nothing he can do he can't escape to anywhere yeah Ganji didn't make a single demo yet did he uh, I think one that's a huge mistake on this map especially because map... Frost even goes fire ships which are completely or should be completely irrelevant in this matchup yeah. Frost is winning the water though. I mean, look at his water numbers are just looking better. Now he's taking over the right side. There's one tower. Dromons were a bit no, optimistic for Ganji. Ah. 
wasting these ships are really like they are not they are similarly expensive as a cannon game just a little bit different cost feels like ganja's hill is a little higher is that possible mm, looks similar to me i think is it similar one two three so hard to it's tell. It's on the like, highest ah, elevation. So I think Gundry's castle is a bit lower than the highest point of the cell. It does kill Frost's no, castle though. Demos, finally. And get some nice amount of Genuis though. But I think fleet might be the more dangerous thing here. Look at Gundry. He's on a perfect setup already. If he can, Yeah, now he cancels wills and he's on 150 wills. That's a perfect setup for his late game. You think that many Byzantines? Yeah, it's fine. On this map, you don't want a mass army anyway. You just want to do, in my opinion, you want to do one, two demos all the time, spam them in, get hits. Like as soon as you mass an army, it will get demoed by the opponent anyway. Mm, I see. But he, the problem is he's not doing demos. Well, now he queued four again. <laughs> <laughs> all stuck behind Gellis. Some paladins controlling the backfield there from whenever Frost wants to get onto wood. Can again trying to shoot them, but. Ah. What? What? Yeah. Did Frost attack round? Okay. That looked Probably good, was yeah. just as lucky. <laughs> it looked like he was attack rounding that. Can't he walk over there? Yeah, and, and he's. It's, he's microing it. He's microing there, can again. With the he should be able to walk. Yeah. Paladin. Yeah, but why? What is Paladin? Did he all patrol them randomly or. I guess you all patrol them individually, so they are more random on this show. <clears throat> Looks like it. So what's tower HP difference? 400 HP does a Byzantine tower have more. But Talons have heated shots. Yeah, heated shots probably better than the HP. Also, the Dromons, they look really weird now. For yeah. Byzantines. Why, why are they looking weird? I don't know. They, they have the bonus, than... right? They have heated, uh, like, what's it called? Last Greek radius. fire? Yeah, Greek fire, exactly. Oh, oh nice demo, demo shots. shots. That was very helpful for Ganji. Lead size now a bit reduced, but still 200 pop for both, and quite an even map spread, so. I do think Byzantines in the end with like heavy demo and Roman should be meaning that country is ahead here. Yeah, and also the cheaper trash, like if it really goes to late late game, then Byzantines should have the upper hand. Uh Italians get bombard cannon, we do see some here, so Byzantines too as well. Both don't get siege engineers, so Where is the gold on the map? Greatest. That's a good question, Mununas. I think they only had both five tiles of gold, stuff like that. I uh, take resources. It didn't look they like much, right? 5k gold. But Ganji got additional 5k because he completely abused the market. Ganji also still has gold to mine. Whereas Frost has two relics. I think they didn't realize yet. That's that a good gold to mine. They both have gold to mine. Ganji has in the corner. Frost on the left side. Oh, yeah, true. yeah, 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 yeah. So it's not much. It's not much gold yeah. on the map because there is infinite gold on the map. <laughs> Ganji was always one of the first guys that made uh, trade cogs when there was like a water team game map. He loves trade cog, uh, trading with trade cogs. Yeah, he's shifting some wills to the south. Is it for trade cogs? There on the left side of the map? No, it's for wood. I mean, it's kind of hard. Where do you. Uh, it's not connected at the back, right? So you would have to go kind of on the sides, maybe like on the top to the left side for Ganji. Would be a thing. But it's kind of mm. awkward. Trade is always very vulnerable, so I don't know. I wouldn't mind for Ganji to just place it next to his range and have like safe trade where he can easily defend in one spot. Which well, the problem is they automatically go to the furthest stock, right? So. Oh yeah, true. So you kind of need to do, do, go from the front. Yeah. But Ganji getting map control slowly. Now the demos shine. Dromons. <clears throat> yeah, Dromons. Oh, 
it's nicely retreating them as well. Frost still with the bigger army, but like, it seems like you are right that the bigger army doesn't give you too much on this map. It's mostly about siege. Dromons, look at Ganji's army. He doesn't have any army, he just has towers, traps, Dromons, and mm. some demos. Yeah, it's but, like eight galleys, this is army, and those four paladins <laughs> patrolling. But Frost knows he can't go in there. If he goes more aggressive and he miss Marcus once, then. Yeah, no. Exactly. Oh my goodness. Big shots. Yeah. Dromons, quite good as well in these uh, little waters. Now come the demos. And Frost has to retreat again. Do you think Frost should fight for the middle or should he try to like attack the, the bottom where there's still a bit of gold as well? I think he has to go from bottom. Well, he didn't go to the middle as well with the boats right now because he's afraid that Ganji might come with demos from both sides, right? And then the game is completely over. So he should push where he can't be sandwiched. Yeah, that's like push the docks, right? Push the exactly. docks at the castle at the towards the southern corner of the map. But here come the Byzantine fire ships again. Uh, we're not squishing with demos, we're still trying to squish with fires. Or like a mix, I guess. I don't think Frost has pretty good galleon numbers, so... Uh, I, like, I don't think fires do anything against 44 galleons, right? Yeah, but what, what do those 50 achieve? They don't even trade too well. Yeah, you get one, two more kills, but... They, they would need trade. But I think, like, the, the corner <laughs> dogs, they're usually on maps with more water than this one. So I somewhat understand that they haven't checked yet, I mean... Both, both players, I think, know that the pure water maps mainly have docks on, on Hyper Random. But this I doesn't have as much as water well. as it usually does. I wouldn't have known that as well. Oh, really? Okay. And I know Ganji plays probably even less than me. <clears throat> Did you check the KD already? Like you said all game, Frost had more army, which is correct. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> Frost <laughs> Boy. has 110 um, negative KD. Yeah. That's the Dromons, right? Yeah, Dromons and, well, some heavy demos. He got two times a good good kill there, good cleanup. Mununa's saying some sea tram for Ganji in the middle would be nice. That's only archery range units. I think Ganji's not in a hurry. Oh, now big demo fronts in the south. Oh, uh, not as same. big as I thought. Not all the demos. Uh, he could have moved the last two as well. Like, he yeah, could have killed exactly. everything there. <clears throat> Mm. It's, it's very good enough, weak. Like, uh, Frost will have to go back. Frost is... Uh, and Frost keeps producing fire, uh, cannon galleons and galleys, which... I don't know, he would need demos as well, but he doesn't believe in them, I guess. I think he should still need demos. <clears throat> yeah, big Dromon shots now at the top as well. Oh my god, is Frost's fleet melting to the Dromons. <laughs> Isn't he Dromons, man? They, they look way more effective than, than regular. I don't know. Oh, no. Do they? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just Romans being good. But way, I don't know how much way weaker does. than before the patch, I feel like. Like, those Genoese would have all died before the patch. In my yeah, opinion. true. I was surprised that Genoese didn't <laughs> die. What was the change again exactly? It's. I don't know exactly. I think it's less damage. People said they just adjusted that they spread out wider instead of like an onager shot. But I think they do less damage as well. They seem a bit better with ships, but worse with land units. But, uh, maybe they're just worse with both. Funny says new Dromans aren't very good with units. Do you mean land units by that or both water and land? But they are not better against buildings as well. Like, I think they're just in general weaker, because they were too OP, obviously. Uh, Look at Ganji, he's on 140 pop now, and he doesn't have any food and any ooh. gold in the bank. <clears throat> Has the drones are that expensive? Why doesn't he have any rest? Because he's raining out wood? Yes, got food and wood. And Frost made a nice raid at the right, he killed all the wood line. Yeah. Frost is raiding wood cells as well now, so... We are transitioning away from gold as uh, nobody has found the trade. Thank you for the 
follows Slash. Yeah, I think right? that's a win condition for a Frost, like raiding with Hussar. Because on water, I think he shouldn't be able to win at least. Welcome in, Peppy. Yes, Frost is pushing a bit on the right side, but that's just wood control where he's forward uh, cutting the wood, which I really like. Look at Kanji on the left. He click walled his wood line with uh, siege workshops. <laughs> <laughs> That looks great! <laughs> and if he ever loses the wood, he can swiftly order to it, so Frost doesn't get it. Uh, uh, true, true. Camel's now in defense against the Hulsa Raids. Oh boy, that farming eco from Ganji! He didn't think raids would play a role! What is this zero TC thing there? <laughs> it looks like Chrissy always did that as well. Yeah. Yeah, but it's fine. Did Ganji trade with Chris? <laughs> 130 pop for Ganji. Oh my god. How can he throw that? I don't see any advantage that Italians have on that map. Except having Hussar with bloodlines Lines. instead of uh, Byzantines. Everything else Byzantines should be better here. I also also have one attack more. Yeah, one attack more. Or two. Or just one or two? Two. 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 What? two. Yeah. yeah. One, one like, upgrade more. I mean, that's it. One. <clears throat> Another Droman push here on the left. Gantry is pushing that spot because there is still a gold oh. for Frost. But oh, he's losing so many Dromons. Ah, maybe a bit more army would have been helpful now. In front of those uh, siege ships. It's so sad to see that Frost is doing actually, I think, the wrong units with fire galleys but, or fire ships. But they work because Ganji doesn't use demos properly. Yeah, yeah. He only, so it's only trickling them in instead of going for a big like fleet kill and then into a push with uh, Romans because I feel like that's what Byzantines want to do eliminate the whole fleet and then go push, and with, right? Yeah, and with those choke points, you only need like six demos and it's completely enough. He has four. Uh, finally, he hurt me. Let's go only demos. Oh, yeah, he, he's queuing demos now. Let's go. <laughs> Well, Frost has gained the middle island back, or his side of the middle island is uh, cannon gaining the towers. The raids have been stopped by these camels though, but I don't know, should Ganji buy stone for at least one TC there? But I guess it doesn't protect enough, right? You just have to have some units there. And sacrifice I think a bit if of Frost now. gets consistently there, then it's over anyway, so. Now finally the demos are coming, let's go! Oh, oh they're killing Hussars. Is that the most? Oh no, no, okay, that, that, okay, uh -huh. okay, 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 yeah, okay. Is... They and now the hopefully Ganji real. No, he now he queued fire gale... fire ships again. Like, doesn't he realize those demos are getting way more value? Like now, stop queuing <laughs> demos again and only fire ships. Okay, did good demos. Check mark. Now what's next on the list? Ah, oh, yeah, fires. <laughs> exactly. And now the, the fires will die instantly, and then. He will do demos again, but I don't know why he switched back to fire ships. Yeah, like trust added demos now, or at least added counter demos, I think, behind his fleet, so he can send one forward and better boom the next demos by Ganji. Yeah, but here come the fires. <clears throat> huge fight now. Ah, no, that's good. A fight for Ganji again. Yeah, Frost should okay. retreat through the towers, I think. Uh, Husa trying to do something for sending another batch of raiding, but Ganji very nice reaction. And both are short on resources, like they only have a little wood bank, but everything else is kind of on the limit. I, I wouldn't call that a little wood bank for Frost though. Yeah, Ganji had uh, 10k 10 minutes ago, but now he has 1k, so that can go away fast. One time he sells 3k and then it's gone, right? You will see. I'm sure he will sell in a second. No, it's Sinead Frost. Needs. He doesn't sell wood. He doesn't have gold yeah. anymore. And ah. he already sold, sold 2k. Ah. There you go. Like, that can go... That can... Yes. Go faster away than you think. Who has more wood control though? Kinda even, yeah, right? It, there is so much left. wood on this map. This is like. right. <clears throat> wood, has, wood has always 100 wood, right? It's not like it can be different, like berries or gold. 
Yeah, I think the trees are always the same value as usually. I mean, obviously it can't be different with like acacia trees and baobab trees. Oh, Ganjimi's micro destroy ones. Oh, yeah. Lost another draw. Oh, and his galleons here. are just taking tours around the fires of the Italians. And here. again, he loses the fight just because he doesn't have demos. Like, that would be a great fight if he had just two demos there. Oh, it's such a great fight for Frosto. Yeah. KD is still better for Ganji, but oh boy, that's a huge clear up for Frost. And he keeps oh, I mean, that's the here. towers. It doesn't necessarily yeah. give him that much, but it's a nice trade. Now Frost pushing from the right as well. Frost taking this with the Italians? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he will. My ever so neutral uh, sounding co-caster. Uh, I sound biased, right? Uh, I was just about to say. <laughs> but I think if Frost wins this, this set might be one-sided if he wins such a hard matchup already. I... Like, I think he trained a lot of water fights, though, I think, on, on land micro. Maybe Ganji has more of a chance. Hey, Blue Star, nice to see you here. It's kind of weird that, like, if you check the rest collected, Ganji has all rest collected more. He has 160 better KD, and he's still out of rest and has no map control. Yeah, why, why is that? Well, just because he wasted... Expensive draw ones, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he lost a lot of draw ones, right? Plus lost a few cannon gains to the demos, but otherwise he's kept them alive better. Might lose some more there now. These fires are taking a great fight, I feel, in the south. And he did shot made us a lot, says funny. But that isn't the KD, I think. Mm. But it limits the movement now. a lot. Oh, so you said it would go down from 8k really fast, no? <laughs> well, can go up again. Can go down again. I'm just missing. And Kanji wins a fight on the left with still 200 pop versus 200 pop, or rather again. Um, kind of a bit waiting for the next raid, but I guess there was quite a bit of land army now, and Ganji is trying to raid now. Adding Hussar gets prediction... into that wood line on the right. No, but not fully. <laughs> Will my prediction get uh, fulfilled in the first game already? That it goes to wood control? I, I <laughs> think we are basically already there. <laughs> <laughs> and still no Cause... demos for Ganji. Come on. Frost is also raiding the top wood mm -hmm. now. I, I think both players are shifting to like... At least who's are raiding the like two neutral wood islands. I See, think I would bounce Ganji, I would even add Halps now. Like Halps on he can always run on that water more or less and get some hits. Like Halps mm -hmm. do a lot of damage against the ships. What do you mean uh, this should get it? Frost they will co cast the uh, animal stable cassette. Uh, really? Alright. Nice, nice, nice. That's a nice raid for Ganji. Just no reaction yeah, on the backward line. Villages. Frost wouldn't, doesn't mind too much, I guess, with 40k, 14k wood. Still going up. Fleet is on the left. Now land units more and more in the fights. Um, I mean, there could still be a massive game changer if someone finds the neutral dogs, right? Oh, they still have. Oh, they are not shown for them, right? Yeah, they don't show up automatically. You have to chalk ah, back the corners. Yes. That's why they are so hard to find sometimes. Okay. But, like, a lot of people, like, have checked corners. Or have learned to check corners. I don't know. It would be better if they show up, but I guess it's not codable. It's the same on Marketplace. In marketplace, yeah. you also don't see the markets in Explored. And in late game, like Frost doesn't have too many towers on the map or too many castles anymore. Like he has one, two, three, four castles. Oh, yeah, the three of well, them are not protecting anything, towers, right? Like Ganji's towers predict, uh, protect the woodlands in the middle at least. 
And if you see the frostwood lines, they're all naked, basically. Well, the middle one has a tower, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, like, the big wood lines are all on the outside, right? So, they're not protected by anybody. Yeah, true. Hey, yo, Daywalker. Like... Freaking Andy's opponent. Hey, yo. Shit, now I can't leak strategies anymore. It feels like Frost had way more woodlands in the back, didn't he? How could Ganji place so many farms back there? Look, I think Ganji just went on the wood earlier, right? I think he cut a lot of it. If you look ah, at no like, where I think it was spread. Like Frost was right? back there with 60 villagers and he still hasn't cut half of it. So I think Ganji had way less wood there. Um. I would say so at least. Not game deciding, obviously. Uh, especially because like the two middle islands are so important for it. If it comes to wood, or the like edge islands, I don't know. Let's call them edge islands. Roth is controlling both right now. I mean, uh, not really controlling the northern one. I mean, Gundry is still cutting wood there. Very sneaky dog, he's setting fish. What? Gundry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he has three fishing <laughs> ships. That's a typical Gundry. Oh, now he's low on everything. Like. I think Anji will call it soon. He has a fish, uh, as long as his fish is alive. <laughs> Why does he have demos? I don't understand it. Like, even Frost's army is uh, shottable with the demos. On the right now, Must... they will get a good engagement for the. Oh, never mind. Both see it. And look, even the pike may trade efficiently against the uh, fire ships. So imagine Ganji would add some halps instead of Hussar. I think the Hussars are kind of waste. Byzantines, they're so expensive and they don't mm. bring much value. And you have the cheaper helps, right? Mm. Exactly. I was watching the fight on the left. It was also won by Frost somewhat, but he lost his land army to the drone ones. That looked kind of nice. Frost has killed the wood line now, so no more wood for Gunji on the left side. 25 oh, on wood, 700 Dromons, in the bank. 7 Dromons still. He saved up for Dromons, like... If Frost doesn't get a good amount of galleys anymore, the, those Dromons can be... really dangerous for him. Gunji could find out about the neutral drops if these fish survive. Daywalker, you think I've played an, uh, another set besides my tournament games as well? Yeah, I just played tournament games and that's it. I think same as most of us, probably. Oh, Maybe Frost, Frost has traded a lot, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah, Frost and Polar have been trading a lot. I also saw Frost in voice chat like two days ago. Every, every map I see is basically the first time I see it. <laughs> Well, co-casting already profited you a lot, right? Because you will check for neutral docks now. Uh, well, as I said, they, they, if they wouldn't go to the first dock always, it would be fine. But, like, this is hard to trade always, I guess. Uh, it can be very iffy, especially on this complicated of a map. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't work as great. And she trying to go get back on wood on the left side. Hussars are there. The Dromons mainly went down, water, only huh? two left. Uh, now Ganji will call it, I'm pretty sure. Next. 10 seconds. He has no wood control. He has. Yeah. There it is! And the Stradamus! Yeah, that Frost was uh, really poorly played by Ganji. But well played by Frost. Like, he played two strengths, obviously. Like, the Hassa raid when they were needed. And... But I think Ganji should have won that matchup on that map. Yeah, I would favor Byzantines by a lot. It was very well played by Frost. I to agree with a lot of the things you said, right? About the, the fire ships from both being kind of odd. Demos would have helped a lot. The Dromons kind of did well. Heated Shot Towers mattered a lot. And, uh, overall, the late game was played, played better by Frost, I think, as well. Um, but yeah, really nice game. I mean, we had a one hour really close game on a very interesting app here to start it off. Not true, that. Draft wise, it's great news for Frost, however, right? Only yeah, using the Italians true. there. I mean, it's not and... high prior pick for Ganji uh, as well. This... Medium against low medium. Good figure. That should have been a safe win for Ganji. Yeah, but Byzantines are just way better sift than Italians so far. Yeah. 
I think I mean, the Italians are picked too early and the Byzantines too late. But... Yeah. True. Kind of unfortunate that he runs into Italians, though, because Italians isn't that much weaker. Like, it's still hard, obviously hard to play, but it's kind of winnable. Cross shoulders, obviously. Cross did certainly show up. Mm -hmm. What do you expect for the next one? <clears throat> Uh, now I go for just a random guess. I go for Franks against Incas. Well, they were a very interesting matchup. Are they the Incas, I think, I think Franks have zero chance against Incas. Like, what can Franks do against Incas? I think they're completely dead, no? They have Bombard Cannon. They started already. X-Men. And X -Men Inca, you were right about the Incas. Against Tatars. I think that's a fair Civ matchup. Maybe a little better for Tatars. I remember that, right? We had a lot of debates about that word matchup in World Cup. I think there were like 50% of people saying Civ win for Tatars and 50% of people saying Civ win for Incas, which means it's even. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But who is the better wall to take? I think Tatars, no? Uh, no, Incas! Incas have great border. Obviously, no cannon game. Tatars have no heavy demo, I think. I don't know the rest about them. Okay, okay. And yeah, Amon's also guessed the other half, right? I didn't get to guess because of time. But like, Amon's <laughs> plus ND equals 100%. Emil's also a great support of the tournament. Donated $150. Thanks a lot. You've changed your donation goal. <laughs> for uh, scales expenses. For the tournament I, I, organizer. I I also want to like, give some thank yous to some people. And the fees for PayPal. The donation goal, oh. I didn't change it. It ran out on Sunday. Because eventually that was the end. No people fees for me, right? You can pay me... On hand, <laughs> in January. <laughs> in Berlin. <laughs> no, we, we can do that. No, I think I'll ask me to that. pay me there, mem to pay me there. Yeah, and then you lose your 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 uh, get coffer on the way back. <laughs> Rip. Oh, what a wild map! Are you loaded in? Oh, let's go. That will have trade talks again, right? And let's look at that it. unit. Like whoever micros the starting unit better wins the game. <clears throat> That could be a re in the first two minutes, obviously. Honestly, I I tried to go live, so I know it's a re. Man, I'm Andy Stradamus. Yep, and uh, nobody lost a villager actually. Frost was called a re. <laughs> well, country has got arrived faster, right? So it makes sense. Tatars have a good take tree on water, kind of. Incas. Incas don't have heavy demos as well, but they have ship red instead. Yeah, it's kind of equal on what I would say. Incas don't have heavy demos? How do I, why did no. I start to think they have heavy demos? <clears throat> and they started already again. They are Let's fast. go. Frost not having the re anymore could be big though. In the later status of the... Well, depends if Ganji wants to use his, right? Chris was like, oh, I won't use my restart. Go on, Frost. But... We'll see. co caster fee. Oh, nice. <laughs> Guys, donate to Otta. Now, now your overlay looks weird. No. No, no I, I changed. I know. Now we see. Like, I, it was unfortunate that you showed out the, the donation going. It was not screen. So, are we going for live game or. Yeah, let's go lash. So, full open map, basically Arabia. Very huge hill between them. Look at this thing with the relic on top. And ooh, forward resource from Genji to from Frost towards that as well. So he needs to get the hill. He should get the hill, though. It's just Oh, Genji has five golds. Frost has four. Not sure if that's 
Rebel, you're the admin. Mm. But Frost has the way better heal, so I think the map favors Frost still. Yeah, I mean, the way we did the rules is like, because of the Civ matchups as well, they can pause and ask, and then then we make a decision. Like you did, right? <laughs> but uh, there was also in the Gunji set a game where he yeah, was disadvantaged by the map, but like the map style in the end, and wanted to yeah. play it. So we're not interfering and until they ask us. I mean, gold distribution is real. Like, like he has kind of five safe golds and frost is three golds and one kind of forward so but the hill can change a lot like ganji has to come from the right to make some damage i believe if frost gets the hill there's yeah, also that wood opinion. line on it right and i already see frost having the getting the hill first while the wood line blocks ganji and then on a tree yeah exactly like this hill ganji should never reach because he always has to run around it like, getting there is really hard for him you suddenly have a bit of background sound that you didn't have before. Yeah, do I? Sorry. It's not I'll that again. bad, but... Yes, I think it's bad again. The plans are rush, not achieving anything so far. No, Great wheels. defense by Frost, not a si single villager lost. Even though I see damage quick walls in the back, I don't know how that was defended. Now lost one. That's a really good start for Frost. And the Incas are death ball heavy, right? So I don't... Like, right. if the way Frost wants to play this, I don't think the golds play that much of a role. Because if he gets the death ball from, from the top there with C-Tram, uh, Kamiyuk, mainly, yeah. and some monitors, that could be a big problem for Ganji. Especially because Ganji made so many step lenses, and now he needs to get the market ASAP. He's already out of gold. So if, he, if Frost gets the market faster now... 110 step lancers That's for one villager much. kill. Oh boy. Like step lancers can be nice, but I think Kamayuks just eat them if they are messed. Yeah, like I, I think you might go 30, 40, but not more, I yeah. guess. I mean, I guess you don't want to go like camels, obviously. And... Maybe also not really Cavalier, Keshik. just like Kevacha Keshik, yeah. Kevacha, Onager, Keshik, some Keshik. Maybe even Hassa, you don't need any gold. Yeah, I thought Hassa as well, yeah. No but there's three yet. TCs next to each other, by the No, Frost got the market. Frost so this got game the market. should be over for him. I don't see how Ganji can win this. Also kind of late, though. I would have expected a faster market from Incas. But I guess he was yeah. pressured a lot at the start and was afraid of the Step Lancers. Yeah, and Worked he out to defending it, right? Yeah, 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 true. Market maybe slows you down too much. But Ganji did onager the wood himself and is now trying to creep up that hill. Frost is already on the hilltop with his army, where the Kamiyuks, 40 Kamiyuks on the field, 10 more in production. Siege Engineers is even here, I think both get it. Well, now nice micro by Ganji, but it's up there. He wants to get the hill badly because of Tataris, but I think he can't get it ever. Oh, Step Lancer is getting so slaughtered. And Ganji now built the market, he sees I can't get any gold there. And he has zero production anymore. Like oh. four Kev Archers and that's it. I think the 110 Step Lancer is a big misplay. Yeah. And Frost's defense is immaculate, right? Losing only one villager to that Step Lancer rush, I mean, that really speaks to Frost's skill here. Well, the, the Inca villagers are way tankier than you expect, right? They, I think you need five hits with Step Lancer against them. Ah, it's still, you don't have a extent. unit that's faster than the Step Lancer at all, right? So. But, but Frost at start is really good at those clumpy builds and defending at home. No, absolutely. Worked fine. Now he has full hill control. What did Andy place in NSC5? I qualified for the main event, which takes he, place in January. That means he plays top 10 already. Exactly. What about some hand cannons, asked Manunas? Eh, don't think so. Against Stonagers. I think the Kevachers from Tatars are better, yeah. Tatars hand cannons have a bonus, right? No, which really bonus? Bad. No, they just get hand cannoneers, but no bombard cannons with this odd. That's why. Yeah. You might think that I don't know. Just the just the bonus of 
booting downhill damage bonus. Ah. Which the Onagers are getting here as well. And the trebuchets and that's yeah, very bad for guy. Kenji has nice economy lead, 92, 47. Which he desperately needs as well, because he spent so much on those those lances. It's kinda smart, he's going kinda of for the forward golds already. Like on the left he has ten villagers, on the right he's producing builds for the gold. I'm not sure if he can Yeah, that's a nice castle. He needs ah, to stop geez. the push. If he stops the push, then... Why is Frost making keeps? Uh, he always does that with Incas, I feel. Okay. It looks so like weak, but... To solidify the push. They are cheaper. Kind of good cleanup by Ganji. Well done by him. Nice back there. Mm. Frost has to retreat a little. But Ganji knows he can't ever push that hill. Like he needs to go somewhat from the right or wait till late imp again. Late imp? That's <laughs> <Late> much. <game. laughs> well, um, it's still late imp, no? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. But like the good thing for Ganji is that none of the golds are really controlled by that hill, right? He has the like big gold there on the right side that also has a thousand per tile. If he can somehow oh. defend that and the rest of his golds on the left. Even. Crazy. He needs to defend that and get that gold. If Frost gets that gold, then it's gonna be even harder for him. Yeah, I think Frost realized. Huh? Is he? He's somewhat traveling that castle on the right while still moving his army towards like the base. I think Frost could ignore the base for a bit and just go for the right side gold, the right side economy, and like raid the left side golds or something. Ganji made Cavaliers. Interesting. Mm. Well, the resources well, kind of look gold. equal, right? And Frost is soon out of gold at home. He only has uh, seven tiles left. Eight. Yeah, I, I don't really like that Frost is still trying to push the base, but I guess he still has, as long as he is on the hill, it's be fine for him. Apparently the gold isn't being mined. Uh, the big one. Right, right Obviously right the hill doesn't help one. you too much because the traps shoot like from <laughs> another country there. True, the tar traps are really helpful. Yeah. Oh, Even trying micro. to snipe the onagers. Oh, Good micro by both. Nice on the shots with Frost now. Oh, Big yeah. fight, that's looking good for Frost 9. All the traps of Ganji might be in danger. Kamiyuk's also really good at taking down Siege fast with their stacking up ability and their one range. There might be three trap kills simultaneously. Only three traps left of what was like seven or eight. Or even more. Ah, Kamiyuk's are eventually gonna die to the three castles set up here though. Take the rest of the traps though. That's and like now 10 Frost is going for the gold on the right already. Or preparing to go yeah. for there. With keeps, of course. <laughs> the tower no. better, man. The polar better. Tracking so hard this tournament with the Sunos. Polar teached all of them to use towers. Yeah, well, at least on those water maps they are useful and then you just do it everywhere, right? It's not like they're bad. Did you ever even play Vichy much, Andy? I told you I won the only deathmatch Michi tournament that, I, that was in this year. So I played against Frost in the final and I won 2-0. The 2v2 Michi? No, 1v1 Michi tournament. There was a 1v1 Michi tournament? There's a 2v2 yes. Michi tournament still going on, I believe. Where Frost is, I think, in the finals. Okay, I guess that's what Goldie is talking about then. That you're not playing the 2v2 after you won the 1v1 or something, I don't know. Hey, who holds um, the 2v2? What's the prize pool there? Or just fun? I don't know. Very chaotic. Big fight coming up over those four traps of Frost. Step Lancer and Kashyyyk mix. And... Bungie calls it because Kashyyyk's... The uh, Kamiyuks are clearing that, I guess. Yeah, Kamiyuks are just really strong there. 
No real answer is Tataris. I'd always say flaming camels, but certainly not against camels. And now it's even more tricky for Kanji. Losing his third best Sif. And Frost still has his top three. Yeah, that's very nice for Frost winning with the Incas, which was like his fifth pick, the fourth Sif he has. The like, Kanji yeah. should win with Spanish against any of them, with Gerjaros against any of them, but then it will be tricky. Like, Lithuanians maybe. Well, Vikings, he has to get... He has to re still, right? So he can get, play yeah. Vikings and then hope for a water map. Yeah, Frost can use a late pick now, though. Frost could use, like, Khmer to kind of, like, try to hit the Vikings with Khmer, for example. I think Khmer in general is... Oh, this started already. Fast people. I would go Vikings. No. No. <laughs> it's not Vikings. Oh. Well, is it Khmer? Win for... Persian Kutara. Oh, oh yeah, boy. You said Persia win. I said Persia wins. Persia is... Like, Persia will die in five minutes there against Kutara. Like, the camels just eat them. I think the elephants just eat the Gujaras. But I like that we're getting this matchup since we talked about it at the start. Oh, and very true. different opinions. And uh, Nova agrees with me, says 3 0 Frost now. EG Sif win Persia. What do you guys think in chat? Who's better, Persians or Gujaras? Give, give us some more votes. Uh, also, we could do predictions. I, I think the mods were sleeping on predictions again. Ah, those mods. Who is a mod here? I'm sure yeah. it's Patata Maxtex. Yeah, he is one. Camrad is one. Black Skies. Oh no, Black Skies VFP, I think. I'm sure Funny Liquid has informed you that he douched me as well, right? Oh, what? No, no, no. I don't know anything. I don't want to know anything about it, please. We are into game three. It didn't spoil you. Oi, oi. No, no. It wasn't Sorry. casted yet, even. Uh, Gujaras and Persians. So I'm saying Persians win. Freaking Andy here says Ganji <laughs> wins with the Gujaras. I'm live. And we have a mm -hmm. hero start William the Conqueror. Very known hero, I feel. Oh, and Ganji doesn't Ganji find Ganji nicely the quick walling it. Well, it had some nice pick walls, but yeah, that should be dangerous for Persians. I think strong hero is really good for Gujaras. Frost uh, is out. One will kill for Ganji. Ah, hmm? oh, there it is. Okay. Two castles right next to TC6 barracks build order by Frost. Uh, four stables only for uh, Ganji, so he doesn't yeah, seem to believe sense. that camels are the key here. Well, since Frost opened only barracks and no stables, then uh, makes sense, right? Yeah, I guess, but yeah. how does he... I don't think there is a couch to wild defense, but... Let's see. Prediction is up. Mods have awoken. There is a hill. Ganji is building a hill already, a castle already on the middle hill. Yeah, right. A uh, close map here. A lot of wood around. A lot of resources in the middle. You know, only 300 gold on those and 250 stone. So it looks like a bit more than it is. And overall, rests are pretty limited by that, which. Uh, I don't know for which, so if that's better. I think Gundry's dead. I mean, Gajora's already struggled against Helps, right? As well. Yeah. That's Until correct. they get unique unit out. And he only has one castle. And elephant archers against wild elephants, not the greatest either. Very smart. Frost opened like massive barracks opening and one castle basically. While Ganji made those stables. Like if Ganji opened one stable, two stables only, and then elephant archers would be way better for him. Yeah, camels all died now. Only even hand cannoneers? I don't know. Oh, chakrams are fine. Like, chakrams, if you get to them... 
Can I get yeah, a horse? Earlier can? castles, right? For Gundry would have been key, I think. Something like yeah. Chakram Scorpion against the Frost Army. The, the problem is, I think he saw the base of Frost too late because he missed Mike Lewis, uh, mm. hero. And then he finished all four stables because he saw before he saw that Frost only opens barracks. So usually if you see your opponent has six barracks, you just cancel one or two stables and go out ranges instead, or a castle. In that case. Yeah, castle would like. And now Thavar being added now later on against the Elephant Archers, but Ganji is somewhat holding that middle hill. Yeah, but not for long. He is already out of gold. He has zero in Q. Ah, got the market now. Yeah, but Kucharas don't have kills. Ah, won't be enough, I think, yeah. Persian, sir? Ah, oh, quite good against Kucharas, man. Hmm, not sure. Like the... Yeah, you're still saying different build order, yeah, but it would have been better, but I think it's good enough. Rust still has gold get... in the bank. Well, the a lot of hand should right. get the castle up in the middle, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, looking over. Frost Persians, especially, yeah, good point, Mylan. Frost adds another 20% strength to the Persians, at yeah, least. The... GG! Oh boy, come on, Genji! Give us at least the start of a reverse sweep. My prediction's also not looking too great. So, three wins for Gunji now, right? And then... I told you at the start, if we fro since Frost won the, the first game, it might be a one side series. Ah, the first game was so good, though. <laughs> yeah, but you're very right about that. It's not a reverse sweep, then, right? It's probably yeah. slipped. We've seen it before. Now, now we have a nice matchup. I love that matchup. They're Let's really see. fast, man. Well, tube inspected, right? Yeah. I haven't even done the scoreboard yet. Guys, predict what is the matchup. It's a it's a fun one. Uh, it's a fun one. Vikings, Burmese. No, no, no. Spanish Hans? I think that's a matchup we will never ever see again in Deathmatch. <clears throat> oh, we see Romans! Romans against Hindustani! Oh boy, the worst Sith in tournament record. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. From Romans actually won the one game that was played in the main event. Unexplainably. Uh, okay, yeah, um, I, well, no, which you is better would here? have lost anyway, no problem. I dominated there. Well, Romans against Hindus, guys, what do you prefer? Tell us the dread. And we have Palisade walls, it seems like. I think Hindustani is better, no? Because of the bombard cannons, hand cannoneers. I think robots lose to everything. Maybe but two robots to gift scorpions. Why are the units really good? Maybe okay. The they are. Aren't they like weaker paladins that cost more? Uh, don't think so. They should be better. They have a charge attack though. No. Yeah. But against how many stables are we having? Frost is only going one stable and six ranges. So he's expecting a lot of infantry? Yeah, well, makes sense. He can't rush anyway, right? He doesn't need mobility that early. Yeah, but like isn't the main fighting line Kev for the Romans? Like Cavalier other than Centurion? Uh, I wouldn't like Kev doesn't have anything anything sp Oh, they have the charge as well. Or? Yeah, I think so. It looks like a 12 plus 9. Yeah. I don't know what too much about robots. I decided not to pick them. Yeah, I didn't pick them either yet. Maybe I will. They walk, I will pick Romans. Try to get them faster than me, man. <laughs> Else you're in danger. So what's the secret Roman threat? What should Ganji go for here? Well, Halps is correct. Halps, Scorpion, Centurion, maybe? 
I think Centurion are far uh, strong. But... Uh, did Scorpion against the hand cannons? Or what do we do against the hand cannons? I don't think they even... Do they even get siege engineers? Wait a second, sorry. So far little fights in the middle. 40 population. 40 military 237. Um, like, Imperial Cavalry hand cannon here on paper always seems so nice. But it seems to fail a lot of times. In, yeah. in that match. Let's see how, how good the Centurions are. Ah, they did no uh, damage to Camels, I guess. It was 3 against 20. What's their attack? Oh, the attack's quite high, 24, with the, with the charge at least. I mean, losing 4-0 is one thing, but losing 4-0 and your opponent has best 3 shifts left? <laughs> Huh? It huh? hurts a lot. Huh? hurts as a co-caster and friend of Ganji. And uh, it might also be scary for a potential grand finalist, right? Scared of who? Well, to Frost seems scary. Uh, fine. You do demos. Like, Scorpions have 8 range, Hand Cannoneers have 9, so... Oh boy. Hand Cannoneers even outrange Scorpions, so... Basically, Romans have no answer to Hand Cannoneers. Yeah, Matri is 82 to 103, mm -hmm. same villager count. I mean, there is the Centurion in front, right? So the Hand Cannons are mainly shooting at them. Battles still seem quite even. I don't know, maybe Gandhi is winning this battle here. The Scorpions having ballistics means their, their shots are also not going to waste, right? But they can't you hurt my, hurt my 4 0 comment. Let's go, <laughs> yeah, exactly, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm losing 4 0 with the throw three best tips, Andy. Come on. Okay, that wasn't the Ganji impression. I don't think I can do a Ganji impression, though. No. Yeah, I can't impersonate people as well. It's too tricky for me. Yeah, I can impersonate you. Really? Can you do that? I don't think so. Not Only to your charm, satisfaction, right? probably. <laughs> what, what? Not to your satisfaction, probably, because you should uh, know yourself better, I guess. Uh, I won't do it while I'm go casting this game. Uh, you can spam so many scorpions, it's really strong. Like, 30 gold only for a scorpion and... Uh, basically three, right? And that's yeah. like an army of 29 scorpions. I mean, it does look kind of cool. I think Frost needed to make more bomber cannons and micro them all the time. <laughs> yeah, now he's doing like microing the scorps down. That's what he needs to do. And I would love to see Husser instead of camels for Frost. Oh no, nothing in the front anymore. The camels are jumping on the scorpions. But the scorpions oh. are too good. Still 18 left, the uh, bomber cannons are doing work now, and now the hand cannons are stopping most of the other stuff. Yeah, but Frost didn't develop his economy, he has zero food left, and he has no farms placed yet. Mm -hmm. Champion 7, Champion Secret DQ, a lot of villagers in the queue, 69, now 68. Was oh, nice. nice. Oh, but here comes the siege man push! That's a really nice timing for it, because... I don't know, there's Bombard Cannons and Hand Cannons shouldn't be too bad, but it's a good amount of Sea Gems at the right time. We'll get the castle down. Frost is in trouble here. I can't believe that we will have 100% Roman win rate. If, if Frost Genji wins, this, we have 100% Roman win rate in the main event. Ah, but Frost has double the army now. Some raids by Ganji. Three on food only. Ganji with 14 on food. But not much wood in the bank left. There's some scorpions in queue. Oh no, but now Ganji is getting mopped up badly. Mununa says Ganji didn't train with me for this one, it shows. <laughs> Man, Mununa is where is your coaching there? Ah, Ganji. Fucked up a guy. He had such a great army 
And then he got, got overconfident. Basically the same happened against Gru, was it the Goth? What what was the game? He was Goth against... Hinus as well, I think. Yeah, Goth against Hinus Dani, right? He had a really mm -hmm. great push and then he overcommitted and then he got completely pushed back. Ah, and then he won it with the raids in the end, which was really nice, but I don't know if that's possible here. 77 to 20 army, map is way shorter, the camels are going in at the back. For some raiding on the main gold as well, Bombard Cannons are out, Ganji needs to get army back somehow, the only thing that's coming out is Legionary Stop, which are like double countered by champions and hand cannons. I really didn't want to see a sweep man, Frost stop being too good. <laughs> he, he took it personal that he lost the deathmatch world cup. Ah <laughs> uh, boy, yeah. I think he re he really wanted to win this one, especially I think. Yeah. As he said before the tournament, his main goal was to beat Ganji. No mercy frost. That's the caption. That's a hill, right in the middle there. So both the co-casters will be the finalists in this tournament. Incredible. <laughs> we don't know that yet. <laughs> yeah, we just need to rake the main cast into the final somehow, right? <laughs> true, true. That one is missing. Rang of Fire Deathmatch 1v1v1 one 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 Grand Final. Let's go. Well, country has. Another army didn't lose too much yet. Frost is not being as overconfident. He is pushing slower. Has a big pop lead though still. Aye aye. I mean, I know Hindustani suck and stuff, but Romans are just not a thing. No, I think it was... Like, we had that one fight, right? Matchup wise, it looked quite even, and like, well, Sivs could do something here, I think. But Frost is just. Frost too good? Frost too good. Little Centurion army still left, Frost not grabbing that one in the north. Yeah, and Frost knows patience, right? This is so patient by him. Like, he had the 100 army to 30, he still has that. Well, but he and... doesn't need to be patient, <laughs> he can just roll over Ganji as well, like, he, he doesn't no. need to do that. Here, actually. Good. Trying to honor just, I guess. But uh, they also don't have really good range, right? Uh, nine range against eight at least, so they at least outrange the uh, end cannons. No, Maybe same range. should have actually. called me before that set and asked for help. Uh, he should have trained with you, but he was thinking about the grand finals. <laughs> Do you think I would have traded her for fastest chaos when there is any C right there? Yeah, obviously you focus your whole weekend on it and just like I don't know did something with NC. And you were playing qualifier as well, right? <laughs> I was playing whole Saturday and kinda whole Sunday. Hey, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I watched your games man, both Saturday and Sunday. And I mean, you obviously I, played before. Wait, when did I play Ring of Fire? I, I think I oh, played. True, it you in, also played that, I guess. I, I played it on Saturday after my two sets. Like, <laughs> I, I was dead Saturday night. I even streamed. Boy. No, I didn't stream Saturday. But Ganji calls the GG. Frost dying. No mercy mm -hmm. going to the finals. Oh Four. boy. 4 0. Ay ay ay, and you caught it after game one, right? Yeah. That will be a one-sided series if Frost wins that matchup. Disaster. I'm really disappointed in my amigo Ganji. I hope for like seven game set if I have to hear. <laughs> you hope for, uh, at least after the third game, you hope for a seven game set, I bet. Bloodthirsty Frost, really bloodthirsty, yeah. Winning Italian, I mean, which saves did he play? Come on. It's like really not the greatest saves. <laughs> Only trash right? saves and he still won. Yeah. Like he didn't he have a single good save. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Aperta, okay, yeah. That's it. Incas are usually trash. They had a good matchup there, I think, against the Tars. Imagine you found Smallings left. Crazy. They also got you didn't use Spanish at all. So the Ethiopian snipe didn't didn't hurt at all, I guess. And there he is, the man of no mercy. Congratulations to entering the finals, Frost Knight. Hello, guys. Thank you, thank you. Hello, Frost. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats, you too, man. Congrats thank to you, qualifying man. for next. We'll meet, we'll meet in the finals now. Uh, <laughs> I, I hope not. I hope not, but I guess so. I guess so? You, 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 expect, you expect any to win against Daywalker? I, I think it's likely, but I hope Daywalker wins. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> but you, I was tomorrow. cheering for you all the set, Frost. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> nah, sure. it doesn't sound like it. It doesn't sound like it. <sighs> no, no, and he got, and he got more set every game. Actually, he got uh, pretty set after game one already. After you won that with the Italians. Uh, I think. Yeah. Like, why did you add fire ships? Just because he, you saw he doesn't want to play demos? That was an interesting choice to go fire ships against Byzantines. Uh, I think, I, think it... I used fire ships to have something in front of my galleons if he came in with like demos. Because sometimes when I looked away, I lost my whole navy to his demos. Mm, right, right. So I was a bit scared of that. But fire ships die even harder to demos. Like, if you have 10 fire ships in front and he just comes with two uh, demos, they're all dead. So. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but it's but better. Kind of refused. Continue. Well, I mean, the fire ships would have taken the first blow. Then maybe I can look over before my home yeah, maybe. True, true. So you basically added the fire ships because you didn't trust your APM to see the demo sort of thing. Yeah. Low yeah, confidence. Yeah. Aye, aye. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it, how do you, how do you work, think? Though. Yeah, how do you think you edged out that that game one? Because like obviously, I think we we all agree that Byzantines have a bit of an edge there on Italians. Uh, I guess I, I don't know really. Like, I guess he made more gold units than I did, and I somehow managed to hang on with my navy. I guess because I saw he had like twenty k more food collected or something. Yeah, he had better KD, better resources collected, but he just wasted so many drones because yeah, he think... just always went yeah, to them yeah, with yeah. the like others. Yeah, I tried to snipe his drones with my cannon galleons. It was hard sometimes. I played really well though. It was super hard game one. He played shit. He should have won that one. <laughs> <laughs> you have to roast him. No, 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 no. I, I can't roast my Swedish uh, Swedish friend. No, no. no. Yeah, like, the the most we will get out of out of Frost is saying that Kanji played interesting, right? Yeah, he played very yeah. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, I don't know. The draft was brutal today. Like the auto bands. I feel like yeah, all the good saves are banned. All the good saves was uh, removed. It was crazy. Yeah, did you how like did that you or did you? Yeah, how did you feel about that? Uh, I I think I think I thought that it was like a pretty bad. But then after like, was I was thinking a bit about it. I was like, okay, this this looks fine. Should be good. Yeah, you have probably more experience with different saves like Incas, Burmese, and Persia, whatever those deathmatch late game saves. Like, yeah, people usually don't use, but you played a lot of random games as well, right? With random saves, so yeah, I think I've tested a lot of stuff, so yeah, I think I have better knowledge like that. Yeah, I play more than any in the end. And now you won 4 0 and you have your three best saves left. <laughs> Well, I was a bit lucky, and uh, I used my re when I felt like I was going to die. So yeah, the the re was really smart as well. I and think I should have, I should have stayed with my hero at home, but yeah, it was stupid. Ah, uh, you you I took the re because you went forward with the hero, but he has the faster sir, and then you felt like that isn't going well, or what was the reason? Oh, you guys didn't see the re? Oh, uh, we we saw the re. Like the, you read because. Well, his king basically spawned forward, yours spawned kind of back, right? He moved it instantly, so he was yeah. there 10 seconds yeah. earlier. That just a game changer in such a game, I would say. Yeah, and then I felt like he was sniping like all my villagers, so yeah. Yes, re it, it makes sense. I would have done it as well. <laughs> and I felt like I had a good matchup as well, so 
I, I thought it would be good to re here. Like, not just give away a free win here. Yeah. Yeah, smart, smart played. Gotta say, <laughs> you're, you're prepared. The only one that prepared for the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you have uh, tonight to prepare for tomorrow, so I guess. Uh, sure, man. I slept two hours last night. Uh, <laughs> don't think it will be more tonight. Uh, you're an expert. You don't need more. You don't need more. <laughs> Yeah, but like, oh, um, talk about the games a bit as well. Like the the map you got after that, you had way worse gold spots. I'm not sure if you noticed that, but you had that hill, right? That was easier for you to get. Your yeah, I feel like so I, I feel like I traded the gold for the hill, but yeah, yeah, it was fine in that matchup. Mm -hmm. It was fine at least. Just but did you game. realize you had only three golds and he had five? Basically. I realized it when I was going to raid on the left side. I saw like, yes, ah, a gold here. <laughs> Yeah, some extra gold, but uh, whatever. Yeah, he had like four gold in the bag already, and then those two extras on kind of his front. Yeah, I started noticing it, noticing it when I was going to raid. Uh, yeah, that was interesting. But we were like, if you call the admin re, I think it wouldn't be good for you because you had the, the huge hill, mm -hmm. which suits you a lot in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the hill was really good there. Perfect. A big one going to, straight to his base. <laughs> Do you think Incas have a civil advantage against the task? Uh, yeah, or is it like I even? Think so. I think so. Because so at Statar you can only make Cab Archer Onager, I think. And even then it's very hard against like uh, Inca Eagles with Onagers backed up. I think it's hard for Tatars. I think Tatars you need a hill to con uh, take, right? And then you win with the hill bonus eventually. Yeah, mm -hmm. and use your outranging traps, I guess. I think like it's hard. And the traps were nice, like positioned all around your hill. Um, and you couldn't really get to them, but then you won a big fight there, right? And cleared all the traps with the Kamiuks. I think there was a central scene. Other than that, he could have maybe played for side control and had them. Yeah, but I also took the market from him, so I think he was kind of stuck there after after that first fight. Yeah, <laughs> he had zero production. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, and he way overdid step lenses, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But really nice uh, defense I... from you as well. Like, he made 110 step lenses and you lost one build to it. <laughs> well, I felt like he was trying to secure the hill, but uh, since I was so close, it was so much easier for me. I could just go up, like, out to my base and up to the hill. It was very close. And then Persians... that's why he made one. Yeah, the Persians, yeah. And then Persians oh, versus Kucharas. My, my co-caster here said it was the silver win for Kucharas. I think so as well, at least on that map. Like, super close, he had treadmill. I thought I was going to die in the start. Yeah. You should. Uh, yeah. But his, I think his hero missed my base. Exactly, yeah. that's what I... Man, Frost, Frost said all that I said as a co-caster and Otto <laughs> didn't realize, like, Otto was watching the sky and counting the stars there. <laughs> I was watching no, the hero I... that was actually attacking. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to have the camera there where the action is, not where something is missing something. <laughs> I guess it's much easier for me to locate his base since I can see his berries under his town center. Oh yeah, true. That, but well, the, the short distance you shouldn't still miss the base. Like he really completely missed the base. He went into the wood line on the on the, <laughs> on the top. He went that into the black disaster. forest. And then he couldn't spot that you wait like six barracks opening, and he finished his four stables right. So... Yeah, yeah, and then it was. And then he went camels fight. instead of Shrivamsha, right? Like Shrivamsha could eventually pick some villagers. There, there was really a lot of mistakes there. Yeah, I think but... if we replay, replay that again, I think it's, the outcome would be probably different. <laughs> uh, thank but, you. But Frost. what do Gujaras like? If the Persians <laughs> clump, what do Gujaras do then? They can't. I don't think you have time to clump. Like I think you're dead before you get going. <clears throat> like even if you manage to get up a few castles, I think you're dead before you get out. Like good production. Uh, the map was very close, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was lucky, I think, with this approach to that game. Uh, well, you pre uh, you approached it perfectly, and well, you made the barracks open. Uh, like people expect some paladins, right, like that. But you made <laughs> you made insta yeah. six barracks, which was really smart there. Yeah, I was so so scared of like getting will sniped, but yeah, it worked. I hope I hope you if I face you in the final I hope you miss my base as well with your hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after this uh, and we pay close attention. <laughs> and then we had Romans against Hindustanis, like a matchup where, where Andy said that's a matchup we're probably never gonna see again. 
Yeah, I don't think we will ever see it again. Um, I guess he went Romans because he wanted to save Spanish for a potential like fixed game or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I still had my strongest seed left, so I was very confident, even if I was going to lose with Hindustanis. Uh, I think if the map was like a water map, he would have beaten me, since Romans has a better navy. Yeah, but they miss. I think they miss ship right. They don't they have great water. They no, they don't have demos. At all. They don't have demos at all. They, they don't have bad. demos at all. Exactly. You well, can just normal, go fire us against. Well, no normal demo sucks as well. I guess. Yeah. They're pretty bad. Like, no yeah. demos in death matches kind of weak. Hindustani, but, they don't like, have heavy demos. But... Against the Romans, you can just go full fires and add your own demos, and they just have fires without demos. Then. No. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> but they get some some bonus, right, for navy. Uh, Galleons get more attack, but I think they lack bracer, so it doesn't do too much. Ah, okay, okay. I see, I see. Well, yeah, that's the first time I think I, I play against Romans, more or less, <laughs> in this tournament. The Scorps yeah, seemed probably. kind of decent, though, in the mid game, right? You killed, cleared your army once and once pushing, and then maybe over pushed a bit. Yeah, I guess he went all in. Like, he really tried to go all in. And it almost worked. I managed to stay alive with my hand cannon here, so I think that saved me. But uh, if he would have cleared my like gold there, I think I would have died. My gold was in the front there, not not the per, per, uh, best spot, I think. Let Let's switch to some important topics because the chat is all yeah. Yeah, it's all about talking Michi. about Michi, Michi. Yeah, yeah. for two hours. Frost, oh, who boy. is the number one Michi player? <laughs> You you want me to say it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me. I guess you can have it. Uh, thank you, man. You, you won the Ta close, Taiwanese. Guys. You won the Taiwanese Michi tournament. <laughs> <laughs> the one like, none, none of us knew there was a Taiwanese Michi when we won tournament this year. <laughs> <laughs> it was very interesting. Like I don't know. That was a fun one. It was DM settings with non-explored map. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's bitchy, so you kind of know how the map looks, no? Yeah, yeah. we played Explored anyway in the final. I played all my games Explored, actually. Oh, I, I did it until final. <laughs> I think ah, you were so, the only so guy that just the rules, he because so. he prepared the wrong settings. And I thought we were going to start in the Dark Age with, uh, <laughs> with uh, DM resources. That was, what, that was why I was like so confused with all the settings. I didn't yeah, really then, then you have even less chances, man. Uh, uh, come on, man! I'll make militia against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, well, we have fun. a lead up to that uh, Michi rematch, I guess. But Eddie didn't enter the two v two Michi tournament. So, Wh which two v two Michi tournament, Frost? Uh, I don't know. I think it started back in September. Oh, what's the Maybe... prize pool there, or isn't there any? Yeah, it was some kind of prize pool, but the thing is, like, the highest seed gets to play with the lower seed. Uh. So I'm playing with the lower seed. Oh, so, so that, it's that, random teams. Yeah, I guess it was random teams, but uh, it was like higher seed with the lowest, and it just kept on going like that. Like, okay. So, okay. Mm. But we're still in it, me and my partner. Still in nice. it. Yeah, so that's yeah. very interesting. But I feel like that's a tournament that's going to go on for, for a while. <laughs> let, 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 let's, let's lead the topic back to, to proper DM from, from which DM. Yes, I try to help me. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> and uh, you, you, you really like. I, I, I think I remember you Frost, saying it uh, like when we did the show matches or um, before the tournament, saying your main goal of the tournament was to to win against Gunji. Yeah, right? I wanted my revenge. Yeah, I guess I got my revenge, but it doesn't feel like one hundred percent because I don't think Gunji trained that much, so. But I guess it's some kind of revenge, at least. At least it's some a redemption. Four zero with your three best sims left. Well, yeah. That couldn't be a more brutal domination, man. <laughs> I guess I have to thank uh, the auto bands for that. Like he, he had one on the sim and I sniped it. <laughs> so, yeah, we were confused it. about that as well. Yeah, yeah we, we thought watch. you should have sniped Spanish, but you're just. Like, you think Ganji's best thing is SO micro, or why did you go crazy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, w I wanted to remove that from him. And honestly, I, I didn't see that the ET opens was an option to pick first. 
I, I was like counting all the onagesifs, and I was counting like Aztecs, and I missed Ethiopians. <laughs> counting Aztecs. Oh, yeah, it's a mistake. <laughs> but they didn't pick Aztecs. They picked they, Romans. Weren't they bent? And no. we, nobody picked Aztecs at all, okay. No one picked Aztecs, Aztecs. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're quite chill. So yeah, finals, yeah. Uh, you already said you prefer Daywalker? Yes, absolutely. I want to play against Suno. But, um... Doesn't feel very likely. But, you never know. You never know. When is the other semi-final? <laughs> Shouldn't you know that? It's tomorrow, 20 <laughs> GMT. Uh, some, some Austrian is playing against Daywalker. All right. I don't know that. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know that guy too well. I think he's pretty good in RM, but he's he might have won the Death Match World Cup. Yeah. I guess if we will see tomorrow if he's gonna be the one after after this tournament. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I, let's assume we see a freaking Andy against Frost Nine Finals. Uh, what are your predictions? Oof. Have we ever faced in a one versus one versus one tournament? Uh, like in, probably the in the uh, except, horse except wars back then. Like, <laughs> Why did you yeah. have to say one v one tournament? Obviously, you guys forced, uh, faced in Paka Fest, where we won gloriously. Yeah, we faced in Slugfest, I think Paka Fest, uh, different. What death was match it? Horse War? Game? Was it called Horse Wars? The tournament by? Oh, that was Pippa. before my time. Yeah, it was before my time as well. But we, I think we both both played in the Silver League there or stuff like that. No, I'm that was. Wasn't that for I'm coming tournament? Uh, like some full Arabia tournament, I feel like we played. Yeah, that was I'm coming tournament. What was that kind of name? Uh, Masters of Ma Arabia, and there's two yeah, chapters. Masters of Arabia. I'm looking at Wars okay. Wars now, which is the M one v one Invitational. Is it that one? That was the first one, and the second one was open. And it's called chapter. no, they were both Invitational. So. Yeah, I don't think we have faced in one versus one, except that Michi. <laughs> yeah, probably. So I've seen 100% win rate, let's go. <laughs> I'll keep it up. <laughs> we have to change that. We have to Is change it... it. Was it chapter two? I guess it's chapter two. Could have been. Well, Were well. In... Oh, there was team. Oh, I don't know. Somehow we missed each other, like every single tournament. Well, we are supposed to be meeting the finals, but I I was looking for you there, but you were <laughs> showing up. We, we 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 I think we were even in the like same group in World Cup. Oh we? yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. But you 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 dodged me by losing to. I, I dodged it twice, yeah. man. <laughs> well, this time it's like. You could dodge Andy. I no, mean, Trust I isn't dodge dodging him. this time. You you could dodge him, or uh, you could you guys could finally face. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like you, you both playing against each other was somewhat my dream finals. I think I don't know. I think it's the most hyped matchup we could get. Wait, wait, wait. We actually faced each other in the DM League thing. If you can count that. Oh, because... true. That was the DM domination the by after Frost as well, right? What? Remember the, you, the, me, the... Bro, code. It was like a little thing after the World Cup. How was it called? DM Leaks. And Eddie oh. successfully deleted the 4 0 loss from his memory. 5 0? Did, 5 0. Didn't I win there? Or oh, was no. it the, the day I had COVID and played? Excuses. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good excuses. Excuse. Let's go. I like yeah, it. It is a good excuse. I think something. Ah, whatever. I, I... But yeah, I have a sweet in the chat. I just can't get, get enough trash talk going. Plus, it's too nice. <laughs> you have to change me with someone, unfortunately. Well, yeah. Uh, Ganji doesn't if... show up. <laughs> Ganji. Well, if I face you in the final, that's going to be very fun. Best yeah. of nine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we have five games. Fast, now predictable. <laughs> Five games only. Hmm. Uh, so mm -hmm. every, whoever wins the first game wins the series. Yeah, that's how it mostly goes. Yeah, yeah. I, it, yeah. Actually, it can be like that. If you just take a worst save and your opponent takes the best save and you win that one, then it's actually high likely that you win the series convincingly. Mm, you, 
Do you, starting with mind games already? Oh boy. Yeah. yeah oh sounds boy. like it. No, 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 no. <laughs> but please mind, please mind game in a way that we get a five four, okay? No, no. <laughs> No, 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 and you no. can win it 5 0, and then you get, get me an admin win, okay? <laughs> what? Well, an admin win wouldn't be fun. I want to watch as many games, so. Yeah, you can watch those five games, and then you get me an admin win. I think that's fair. I think you're both banned from the next tournament if you don't provide <laughs> nine games. <laughs> if you want admin action, that's the only one I can offer. <laughs> oh, I would, yeah. At least seven or eight, right? Yeah, I, th I think it's going to be a. Very fun set, if I play you, uh, Andy. Um, yes. Yeah, let's see what Daywalker can make happen tomorrow. Very much looking forward to Wednesday Grand Finals at 18 GMT. Um, congratulations again, Frost, and uh, oh, thank Frost. you so much for coming in. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you for casting. Yeah, fun to see you here, Andy. Cool casting. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, Thanks man. for being nice as well. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you guys. Bye, bye, Take man. care. Thank you.